Since Street Fighter came out, revolutionising the fighting game genre, the idea of being able to play on the go has long been sought after, either as a way to practice or to have a more convenient way to play with friends. Playing Street Fighter portably is an idea long thought about, but has been neglected. Sure, there have been many attempts at bringing it over with the Game Boy version, the board game version, the Tiger Games version, but no one of them really succeeded in bringing the same arcade experience. That is until Street Fighter 4 3D came out, which was touted as a version very similar to the arcade and console versions, with extra features made for the 3DS. It seemed like a great way to play Street Fighter, and have your skills transfer over to the arcade. But how well does it actually compare? Hello, and welcome to the 3DS Collection. To start, I find it disappointing that this wasn't based on the arcade edition version of the game, which released a couple months earlier. I know that the console version was released later, but it would have been cool if the 3DS version was a bit ahead. Instead, it kind of got made redundant in terms of the features only a couple months later, and they didn't even bother to include it as DLC or anything. But if we look at the game as just Super Street Fighter 4, how does it compare to the console or arcade versions? Well, in terms of graphics, it obviously is going to be significantly downgraded, but it doesn't look too bad. The characters are still well modelled and look good. Unlike other 3DS fighting games, which ironically came out later, Street Fighter 4 looks like a 3DS game, but it isn't a bad looking 3DS game. And for a launch title, it does a damn good job, which is interesting as there are many other Capcom games on the 3DS that were very ambitious in terms of graphics, like Resident Evil Revelations. As for the 3D effects, it doesn't really do much here. Due to the 2D backgrounds, the only part of the game that really benefits from the 3D effects are the characters, and it's really cool, especially when the screen tilts to the side, but only having the two fighters be in 3D doesn't really add much. And if you want a stable frame rate, I wouldn't recommend playing it that way anyway, since the game only runs at 30 FPS in 3D mode. Of course there is another mode in this version, titled Dynamic Mode, which shows the game from an alternative angle, giving it a more 3D-like effect. This mode does look more impressive than the normal mode, but it seems to be even more demanding than the normal mode in 3D, though both modes are locked to 30 FPS anyway. You can play dynamic view in 2D at 60 FPS, but it doesn't really make any sense since the mode is made to be viewed in 3D, and it isn't exactly the best way to play the game as a fighting game. The biggest part of any fighting game, however, is the controls and moves, and Street Fighter 4 contains every single move and uses the same physics from the arcade game. The controls are even more interesting, however, due to the touchscreen. There are two modes in this game, light mode and pro. The light mode lets you use the touchscreen as a shortcut to use the super moves instead of using a button combo, which makes pulling them off significantly easier. Of course, if you find this too easy, you can turn them off with the pro mode, but it's a nice addition that uses the touchscreen to make it easier for beginners. As I said earlier, all the physics and moves are the same in this game, and due to the 3DS D-pad being very robust, as are all Nintendo D-pads pre-Switch era, you can also use the circle pad stick, but the stick does not work too well with this game, so I would recommend using the D-pad unless you want to risk the stick falling off. Other than the issue with the circle pad, when using the D-pad, this game feels very good to control, and is a great alternative to playing on a console. The actual content for Street Fighter 4 3D is pretty similar to the console versions, with some minor additions. Every character with all DLC costumes in every stage is included, although the extra characters included in Arcade Edition are not present, though that game had not been released on console at the time, so it makes sense not to include them, though it would have been nice to have them as an update or something. The game also comes with the typical Arcade versus Training modes, along with the 3D versus mode which enables Dynamic View. The more interesting mode for me is the Challenge mode, which lets you play the minigames from the Arcade mode, like the Beat the Car Up mode. Apart from that, the main extra mode you get in the 3D version is Figure Collection Mode, which lets you use Street Pass to collect figurines of characters. This isn't much of a gameplay mode, more kind of a trophy mode that lets you collect and look at cool figures from the game. The last thing I want to mention isn't really a mode, but it is nice to have. The game offers LAN play, but if you want to play with someone that doesn't already own the game, you could use Download Play to play with them, although they are limited to playing as Ryu, which kind of limits the amount of fun you can have with them. You could also of course play online using the Nintendo online servers, or could at least until they shut them down. In spite of its limitations in terms of visuals, Super Street Fighter 4 3D manages to be a pretty good version of the arcade game, with it offering easy to use controls and accessibility features while catering to competitive players as well. The inclusion of so many options makes it easy to appeal to many people while not limiting itself. I think having even more options like giving the game an unlocked frame rate so you could play on the new 3DS at 60fps while in 3D would have made the game even better, but I don't think they were even considering that possibility. Either way, it's a perfectly fine way to play the game, just as long as you don't mind playing it on a handheld.
Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode of the 3DS Collection. If you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe and tell me what your thoughts are on the game in the comments. Thanks for watching.